Hello, welcome to Yoga Vinyasa Flow. And today we're going to prepare ourselves to come into splits. And if you just heard that word, like I cannot do a split for the life of me, um, no worries. You will have an option that will work for you, um, which is going to be a half split for those of you that can't do a full split or should not work into a full split. So um, really only a couple blocks. Um, are needed. Um, I like to have hands on two blocks when I come into my split because um, my pelvis doesn't come all the way to the floor and so I can find a nice um, balance and support there. The other blocks are just for when I switch sides. So you don't need four blocks, um, maybe just two if you've got those, and um, a strap. And we're actually going to start off with the strap today. So, and we're going to start on our back. So let's go ahead and come onto our back. Now, this may not apply to some of you, but I also have a folded blanket here because it makes coming into a split later a little bit easier than being on carpet. But you can still get there if you're on carpet. Now, once you come down here, your belly button is in and you can rest your hands right on the belly just for a moment. And just let yourself get a nice windshield wiper here. So your belly button is in because the spine is going into a slight rotation. Good. And then from here, we'll just come back to center. Knees can fall in or they can stay open. You choose where you need to be. From here now, I'm going to take my hands over my heart space. And breathing and sinking in, taking some big, expansive breath. And then coming to an intention. So I don't have any special um, intentions or affirmations to give you today. It's going to be all about um, what you need to set for. But if you need an idea, my intention is open heart, open mind. So if you went want to use that, you certainly can. So what does it mean to have an open heart? What does it mean to have an open mind? Some people would argue that they're open-hearted and open-minded as long as you agree with them or your beliefs are the same as theirs. Others have a different opinion and approach like yours truly. And then once you have that set, good. you just carefully release. Now, we're going to do that windshield wiper again. Um, we're going to come into some bigger ones now. So belly button is in. Get let the knees go towards the right and to the left. How deep you go always depends on you and your own body. But when you come over to the other side, your other hip will come up. So let it do that. You're going into rotation again. So you want that belly button to be in. Now from here, I'm gonna let my knees come over to the right. I'm taking a big windshield wiper here. So to help my knee a little bit, I'm gonna press in at the inside edge of my foot into the floor. So that helps me personally um, keep it out of my knee a little bit. That might not work for you. So feel free to try it. If it doesn't work, then don't do that. I'm just kind of relaxing in here. Trying to let go of any tension or tightness or holding. And then when you're ready, good, use your abdominals to bring the knees back in. We're going to take that to the other side. So now my knees are going to go to the left. Good. I'm pressing the inside edge of my right foot into the floor. And I'm trying to release all holding patterns coming in here. And coming back to center. Good. Now from here, grab your strap. This can also be a stretchy band or a belt like you wear around your waist. It doesn't have to be an official yoga strap, but I'm going to take my right foot into the strap. So we're going to start to prepare the hips right off the bat here, preparing the legs um, for our splits or half splits, wherever it is you're going. 
And then from here, I'm holding both. I'm just going to get some nice circles. Okay. The bigger the circle, the more core control you need. You want to keep both hips on the ground. The smaller the circle, the easier it is. We're just lubricating that joint. Good. And then let's reverse direction. And then from here, when you're ready, you can choke up a little bit more, but not too much with the strap. And I'm going to let that leg come forward. I'm going to come back, gentle tug. And forward, and gentle tug, and forward. Good, you can choke up a little bit more and hold that tug. So always keeping a micro bend in the knee here. And as with everything, any pain, numbness, tingling, burning, you want to back off. So we're loosening up the hamstrings a little bit here. Good, and we'll release both straps into that right hand. Hips, knees, and toes are going to turn out externally away from the body. Good, and then we'll take that leg out to the right. Now, both hips are grounded, so my belly button is in. You can wiggle around here, find your sweet spot. I like to personally hug a little bit towards the shoulder but that might not be appropriate for you. To do what feels good, do what works best for your body. When you're ready, we'll get, come up. I'm gonna take my left leg long. I'm gonna switch out my hands here. So again, we're gonna stay in the 45 degree arc today. We're not gonna take this one into the twist. So. Wiggle around as you go, find your optimal 45-ish degrees. And then if you want something a little bit more special, move the foot around and you'll know that extra special when you hit it because you're gonna feel it from the hip all the way into the heel. And when you're ready, we'll come up. Good. And when you're ready, we're going to switch out our feet. Now the left foot is in there. Good. Kind of come down a little bit on your strap. Find your circles. Belly button is in. You're controlling the circles with your abdominals. And then when you're ready, good. reverse that direction. And then from here, good, we'll choke up a little bit here. Here's the dynamic little flow. So taking it forward, come back, little stretch. And forward, coming back, little stretch. And forward, and coming back. I'm gonna choke up a little bit here. Keep a micro bend in the knee. Three. So it's always important here, and this is true for Pilates as well, when you're stretching this hamstring, if you don't have a strap, if you're kind of holding on, keep your upper body lowered. That's a deeper stretch. This is really like, it's a lot of strain. I'm in the back and I feel nothing here in my hamstring despite having the strap when I'm in the C curve. I do feel it when my upper body is lowered. Okay, so kind of be mindful of that. Good, and we'll take that down. Both straps into the left hand. We're going to take that leg out to the left. Oh, actually, first turn into the external rotation, put me and toe turn away. Then you find taking it out to the left, and you can wiggle around here as needed. Belly button is still in, both hips are grounded. Breathe and expand. And when you're ready, it will come back up. Good, I'm gonna release that right leg. Good, arc over 45-ish degrees. Five, find your optimal spot here. Remember, we're staying in the 45-ish degrees. You can move the foot around. 
finding special spots. Special spots. When you're ready, we'll come back up. Remove that foot from the strap. Just bring your knees into the chest. Good. Now we're gonna go to a gentle supine twist from here. So knees are gonna be in tabletop, knees over hips, chins parallel to the floor. Arms can be out. Let those knees come towards the left. Reach. Good. Now, keeping it gentle, take one leg at a time. Coming back to center, we're gonna take it to the other side. So when you're ready, taking that over, good. And breathe and expand. And when you're ready, again, keeping this gentle, one leg at a time, coming back to center. Now, you have options to come up out of here. You can always roll over to your side, come to a seat, and then come to all fours, or you can, Cross the ankles, lift up, grabbing feet or the ankle, and take a few rolls. You do need to be healthy in the spine here if you're taking the roll. And then I'm going to roll all the way up and coming forward. Good. So push in those knees as needed here. Same thing for the wrist. The knees are going to be under the hips. They can be slightly wider if you've got a low back issue. But look down between your knees. Do you see your toes in here? And if you do, can you take your feet more behind the knees? Spreading fingers wide, your knees through knuckles, a pinky corner and thumb, belly button is in. Inhale, take this into a nice cow pose. Exhale, round. Gaze is going to come to the thigh. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now come back to a nice table position. Good. We're going to take a side bend here. I'm going to side bend Get to my right, looking over right shoulder. And coming back center, take that side bend to the left, looking over left shoulder. And coming back to center. Good. From here, so we're going to go into a balance. So I'm going to take my left foot back here. Sorry, just making sure this is not a spider. The dead spider. A dead spider is okay. Better than a live spider for me, at least. Sorry about that. Good. Take your right or left foot back, pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mouth. So I like spiders when they're outside catching flies and the bugs and stuff. I don't like, I don't like it when they're inside or try to crawl around on my mat while I'm trying to practice yoga or Pilates. And from here, when you're ready, good. We're gonna come up a small lift or a hip height lift. Good, right arm's gonna come forward. Press away from that floor. You can stay here or you can bend that knee. You can stay there. You can reach around. You can grab a foot and ankle or your pants. Pants are always okay to hold on to. Taking that knee in towards the midline, good. Press out of that left shoulder, rolling right shoulder back. You can stay here or squeeze the left glute, taking the left foot straight up towards the ceiling. You're getting a little quad stretch in here. And then from here, release and reach. And take that down. Good, other side. Right foot comes back, pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mound. Letting that right hip drop slightly, pressing away. And when you're ready, good, we're gonna come up. Small lift or a hip height lift. Left arm comes forward. You're welcome to stay here, pressing out of that floor. You can bend that knee. You can stay right there. Or you can reach around and find you with something. Good. And then from here, knee's gonna come in towards the midline. You can stay here, rolling that left shoulder back. We're squeezing that right glute, taking that right foot straight up towards the ceiling. Choosing what you need. And then when you're ready, release with control, no slingshotting, reach, 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 and take that down. Wiggle, 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 find a child's pose. Knees can be together as wide as the mat, somewhere in between, 
Arms can come long in front of you or hands can come back by the ankle. Find what feels good to you. Be in, in an active child's pose here, zipping up from pubic bone behind the navel. The belly button is in. Breathe and expand that rib cage. Reconnect with that beautiful intention you made for yourself. Good. And then once you're ready, good, we're going to come up. Yes. Making our way to downward facing dog. So if you're taller, take a half a hand width or full hand width forward. Shorter, you can stay where you are. Spreading fingers wide. We're going to do knuckles a pinky corner and thumb. I'm going to tuck my toes. I'm pressing in and forward as I lift my knees and continuing to shift as I lengthen my legs a little bit. They can stay bent if you need that. Pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mount. Hip knees and toes are tracking. Good. I'm going to turn my elbows more towards my pointer and my middle finger. So my shoulders are in their pockets. My head and neck are free. Ears are by the bicep. Good. You can start to lengthen and bend. You can walk the dog. Good. You can come high on the toes and drop the heels. You can be in stillness. Find what feels good to your body right now. Good. And then from here, we'll take some stillness if we took movement. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk or step your feet forward to meet your hands. Come to blocks if you can't touch the floor. Good. And then I'm just going to let my knees bend a little bit here, shaking the head yes. Shaking the head no. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, long spine, fingers to the floor, walk at any height to the shins or to the thighs, long spine here, relaxing the shoulders. Exhale and we'll bow. We'll go again. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes. Long spine here as you come up. Make the legs take the load. And exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Finding breath, mountain, intention. All right. So we're going to take a few little flows here. Okay. We'll take about three of them. So big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. You can always cobra here. If you're skipping the flow, a nice plank. A down dog or a child pose will work well for you. Flowing is not for everyone, so be mindful of where you need to go. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And again, inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. I'm going to skip this one. Always checking back in with yourself in good down dog form when you get there. From down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glute. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. And we'll go again. One more time. Inhale and lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Halfway down is all you need. And taking it back. Good. Take a few breaths here once you make your way back to your down dog. Reconnecting in good down dog form. On an inhale, I'm going to lift that left leg, three point, bending the knee, opening to the left. Strong, even upper body. Try not to let that left shoulder lift up here. You have options. You can circle an ankle. You can circle the hips. Remember, if you're circling the hip, it comes from the hip joint. Nothing's happening at that knee joint. Or you can simply open and close. Mm -hmm. 
And then from here, when you're ready, keeping that knee bent, we'll take the hip and the knee back even to the floor. We'll lower that left foot down. Right leg lift three point, bending that knee, opening up to the right, strong, even upper body. Try not to let that right shoulder lift. You can stay here, you can circle. You can circle at the hip. You can open and close. You choose what you need. And then when you're ready, good. We will keep that knee bent as we come back, even to the floor, lowering that foot. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, intention. Great. Going into a different pattern here. Big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. From here, I'm going to grab my block. I'm going to step my right foot back. So I'm in this left up runner here. So I'm really pressing into my blocks and you can have blocks here and you know here or here do what feels good to you if you've got really long arms you may not need blocks here but really press back through that back heel so your back heel is not going to ground you're on parallel railroad tracks but you want to really start to build the strength here good lengthening that torso and breathe belly button is in be strong Activate your muscles. That's where you build the strength. Standing around in yoga poses without the muscle activation just doesn't do a whole lot for you. Make your muscles work. Good. From here, when you're ready, good. I'm going to lengthen this front leg a little bit, and then I'm going to come back to the lunge. And I'm going to lengthen a little bit and come back to the lunge. Lengthen a little bit and come back to the lunge. You too, the so back knee can ground. We can keep it lifted. Find a crescent. So whether you're lifted or grounded, your left hip's gonna come back a little bit. I'm lifted, I'm pressing strongly through this back leg. Belly button is in. Inhale, exhale. Find your length as you take your path to the mat. Blocks can come forward, planting the hands. Front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Good, finding breath, mountain intention. From your down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow, we're gonna take that all to the other side. So my left foot's gonna step back now. I'm in that right up runner. I'm gonna bring my blocks in. Good. So I'm really pressing into my blocks. You can press into the floor. Right hip's gonna come back a little bit, lengthening that torso. Strong through the back leg. So for a long time, I practiced with a little bit of a bend in my back leg. It wasn't because I wasn't strong, because I developed a bad habit pattern of not activating back there. Sometimes that can take longer to get out of than building up the strength. So be mindful of your habit pattern. Good, now from here when you're ready, and I'm gonna lengthen that front leg a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back into the lunge. And lengthen and back into the lunge, and lengthen, and back into the lunge. You choose, back knee's gonna ground, or you can be lifted, finding your high crescent. So strong through that back leg and heel. Back heel is not grounded. We're in parallel railroad tracks. Breathe, relax through the shoulders. And then from here, when you're ready, finding your length, taking that back, down to the floor, blocks can come forward, plant the hands, front foot steps back, you choose, take or skip a flow. And then taking it back. Good, finding breath, mountain, or not mountain, but finding breath and intention. This is down dog, find your good down dog. Good, from your down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, Step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, 
exhale, little back. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, raise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain intention. All right, we're gonna go into another different pattern here. This is gonna include your warrior, your triangle, um, a longer hold pyramid that we just prepped for, um, as well as a twist and a lizard pose. So have your blocks at the ready. If you've only got one block today, have that on your left side if you think that you might need that. So from here, when we're ready, inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. I'm gonna skip this one. Good. Find your good down dog. So if your elbows are kind of bent out to the side here, could you turn them more towards pointer and thumb? Strong shoulder girdle from here. Left leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee around. Step or pick up and put the left foot forward between the hands. Warrior prepping the back foot using a block if you need to for stability. So back leg, hip, knee, and toe turn out about 45-ish degrees. When you're ready, rise. Good. And we'll find the warrior too. Good. So remember, front hip's going to come back. Good. Torso turns without turning the hips. Reach. Strong body, strong bones, strong muscles. You get strong bones by using those muscles. Remember, it's more important for the back edge of the back foot to be grounded than for that front knee to be bent. Make any adjustments as needed. Relax those shoulders. With a bent front knee or a lengthened front leg, good. Take that back, find your exalted. If you like to arm bind or arm wrap here, find what you need, what you want. Strong again into both feet. Zip up that front body, inhale, exhale, find your warrior two. We're gonna take this into triangle now, so I'm gonna lengthen that front leg. Good. You can adjust your stance here as you need to, wider, shorter, um, a different alignment, heel to heel or heel to arch. So I'm gonna take a different alignment over here. Good. So from here, my front hip's gonna come back. So my back hip comes forward. I'm rooting in, this knee is a little bit soft. I'm pushing a lot through that back leg, belly button is in, and I'm lengthening, and I'm lengthening, and I'm lengthening. And when I can come no more, take a thigh, take a shin, take the floor. You can bring in your block here if you need that. And opening up towards the yeah. about back of the shoulders, long spine here. Remember, this is not a forward fold. It's a twist, it's a hip opener, it's a balance. Inhale, looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee. Good. So I'm going to grab my other block here. You may not need it. And I'm going to swivel up the back foot and back leg. I'm back in that little up runner. I'm back in my parallel railroad tracks. Good. So again, from here, I'm going to lengthen that front leg and come back into the lunge. Lengthening the front leg and back into the lunge. Lengthening the front leg. I'm going to hold here. Left hip is back, back hip is forward. I'm pressing strongly through that back heel. My leg is straight, or as straight as I can get it. I'm lengthening the torso. If you know that you've got more depth in this front hamstring and you want to go there, you can take your hands or your blocks more forward. So the ears are gonna come by the biceps and then you can find that depth there. Keeps the spine a little bit longer. And then from here, when you're ready, if you took your hands or blocks forward, we're gonna bring them back in. Good. From here, finding that left lunge again, right hand can be on the floor to a block. Try to keep your pelvis even, open towards the left. Inhale, exhale, taking that hand out. Good. Your back knee, your right knee is gonna come back down. We're gonna set up for lizard or gecko pose here. So 
you can take both hands on blocks or to the floor on the inside of the foot. Now, I don't need the blocks, so I'm gonna move them out of the way, or at least not for this one. So you can be here, okay? We're gonna turn a little bit this way just so that you can see better what I'm doing. So hands are on the inside, you can stay here. You can take this foot and leg out wider. You can turn it out to the side. You can take forearms to blocks or to the floor. Good. You can roll onto the edge of the foot. You can lift up that back knee, pressing back through that heel. Now for me, I've got to go back over here to do that because my uh, mirror that's underneath my tapestry here is in the way. Okay. So whether you're on forearms, blocks or floor, hands, blocks or floor, press that floor away from you. Try not to hang there. Belly button is in. You can always train that knee to lift if you want to go there by putting a block under there for support. Good. And then when you're ready, good. I'm going to lower down the back knee. Good. I'm going to take my foot back down because I went onto the edge. I'm going to come back up onto my hands. I'm going to bring that foot back in line. Good. With or without your blocks here, you can find a half foot pose. Good. Once you get there, it's okay to take this heel more forward if you need to. Find your length. Okay. So half split pose here. This is gonna be a modification for those of you um, later that can't or don't want to attempt a full split. You're still getting all the benefits of the full split here, except working both legs at the time, you're just working one up. Okay, good. And we're gonna come forward. Blocks are gonna come forward, plant the hands, tuck the toe, lift the knee, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Finding your downward facing dog. From here, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, low bow. Inhale, root engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. Good. Let's take that all to the other side. So starting from the top of your mat, I'm going to come over to you now. Good. Starting from the top of your mat, big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to point. You choose, take or skip that flow. From that downward facing dog when you're ready, right leg is gonna lift three point, bending that knee, round. Step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. You can bring a block in for stability as you need it as you warrior prep. Heel to heel, heel to arch, or you can take that leg out a little bit wider. Be stable as we rise, opening up for your two. Great. So again, check back in with form, front hip is back, opening up through the torso, reaching. Relaxing the shoulders. That strong back edge of the back foot. Belly button is in. And then you choose with the lengthened front knee, or a bent front knee, take it back and find exalted. If you did an arm wrap or a bind at this point on the other side, find something similar here. Staying with the breath, coming back to intention. And when you're ready, good. Coming back to warrior two, lengthening that front leg. So setting yourself up for triangle here. I'm gonna change my alignment a little bit. Good, rooting in my feet. Front hip's gonna come back, back hip's gonna come forward. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. When you can come no more, take a thigh, take a shin, take the foot, take a block. I don't need a block on this side today. And we're gonna open up. So long spine. Remember, this is not a forward fold. And if your hand is down, remember, it's just there to look pretty and complete the pose. Try not to get over-reliant on it. Make your legs work a little bit more for you. From here, when you're ready, looking down at that front foot, 
I'm going to bend in that front knee. Good. I'm going to take my hands down. I'm going to swivel up the back foot. I'm going to bring my blocks in here. So here we go with that pyramid variation. Good. Legs and feet are parallel railroad tracks. And I'm just going to lengthen a little bit and come back in. And lengthen a little bit and come back in. And then maybe lengthen and hold. Good. So I'm pressing into my blocks. You can press into the floor. Find a long spine here. If you know you've got more depth in that front hamstring, you can take your hands or your blocks more forward. Okay. Here's my bicep. Breathe and expand. And then from here, hands can come back in. Good. Find that up runner again. Good. Belly button is in. Find your length. Finding your twist. Left hand comes to the floor to a block. Open up to the right. And taking that down. Good. The back knee is going to drop here, going into a lizard on this other side. So you can take hands or blocks just on the inside, that might be your lizard for today and there's nothing wrong with that. You can, um, no, it's here. Good. you can take this leg out wider. You can turn it out away from the body. You can take your forearms down to blocks or to the floor. You can roll onto the edge of that foot. You can tuck the back toe, lift and press back, find yours. Belly button is in. And then from here, when you're ready, if your back knee is lifted, we'll ground it back down. If you went onto the edge of the foot, that foot's going to come down. If you went onto forearms, we're going to come back up. If your leg went out wider, we're going to bring it back in. Good. With or without your block. Good. Sit back. Find your half split pose. Good. So it's okay for that heel to slide a little bit more forward. A little bit of softness in this knee. Lengthen the torso here. And breathe. And then when you're ready, good. we're going to come back forward. I'm going to take my blocks forward, planting my hands, tucking the back toe, lifting that back knee, front foot steps back. You choose. Take your skip a flow. Careful not to hang in shoulders or back there if you flow. Good. Finding that nice downward facing dog. And then from here, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knee, walk. Step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. And exhale, back. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain intention. All right, we're going to go to our balance challenge, which is also part of a prep for split. So we're going to go to a half moon here. So remember, for half moon, you are welcome to come to a wall. Um, or up against a steady piece of furniture. And I will um, show this one to you in stages. So I'm gonna grab a block. I'm gonna start on my right side first. So this is my right leg. Block is in my right hand. Good. Kind of come to where you're almost kind of like a, if you're prepping for a revolved triangle where you're not as wide. So then from here, good. You can put a bend in that front knee, come up a little bit and take that back down. Part of this is getting used to the motion. Part of this is getting used to building the strength for this hip, knee, and toe to track forward. The internal rotation that happens here sometimes in balance challenges are you trying to find your stability and compensate for the lack of strength that you have here. So come to the wall so you don't have that fear of falling over or practice here. And then once you're ready, good. You can take that block forward into the side of your foot. That's going to be more stable. It's less stable and harder if it's directly in front of the foot. And then you can open up towards the side. Good. And then maybe look up there. Good. Good. And you're looking up to the ceiling. And my belly button is in. Good. My right hip, knee, and toe are turning forward. So they're straight. They're not turning inward. 
that's happening to you, please come out. Whoops, lost my balance there. That's all right. We've done that enough, so we'll come back up. You never want to practice um, a balance challenge where you're turning in this way and then trying to come this way. That's horrible for your back. It's horrible for the knee, horrible for the hip. And you're not doing yourself any favors, but setting yourself up for an injury. Strengthen the leg by practicing properly and coming up against the wall. Good, so going to the other side. Now your left leg is gonna be your supporting leg. So again, get yourself set up here. You can do that forward and back motion if that's what you need. Otherwise, you can come right into it. Opening up and pressing out. Good, belly button is in. And you still wanna breathe here. Come back to your intention. And then when you're ready, looking down, good. And coming out. Excellent work. We're gonna take this into splits now. So from here, I'm just going to come down to the floor and I am on a hard floor surface. So I have the ability to slide in and out here. Um, if you're on a carpet, um, that might not be the case for you, but I'm gonna fold my yoga mat back here just so that I have plenty of space to show you. Good. And I'm just gonna take advantage of this folded yoga mat and use it for my other knee here. Good. So this is where I really like um, a blanket, a towel, um, a t-shirt, you know, something like that um, that you can slide on. I'm gonna use my block to help me put onto the brakes because my pelvis does not come all the way to the floor and you never wanna force yourself down there. So I'm gonna start by taking my left heel forward. Good. Good. Oh, and before I do that, good. Those of you that are coming into the half split here, if you need that modification, good. This is gonna be where you are, okay? Just like we did before. Those of you that are gonna move beyond that, you can slide that foot forward. You can have your blocks at any place you can. So again, as you can see, I'm not all the way to the floor. So you can stay here, fishing away. You can always take a block or two underneath here to help support you. And maybe you can lift up one arm or two arms, okay? A bolster will work under there as well. And then when you're ready, lift up a little bit here. Then it's a little bit easier to come out because then you can just kind of slide that blanket back in in the way that is best for you, okay? So that's your split. Take a half, take a full. I'm going to stay right here and do the other side. So remember, we're going to take the go forward. So some of you that are going to do the half split, maybe this is you right here, okay? Long spine. And those of you that are going to attempt the full, good, have your blocks at the ready, good. And then you can come out to your limit. And again, you can put something underneath the pelvis here if you need that. Try, if you're using blocks, try not to do this. Press out of there. Okay. So it's the hip flexor in the back leg. It's the hamstring in the front leg. It's working. If you're in the half split, it's the hamstring of the front leg that's working. And when you're ready, get in the way that's best for your body to come out of there based on how you need to get there, then you can come out. Excellent work. I'm gonna put my block to the side. I'm gonna take my blanket to the side. I'm gonna unroll my yoga mat. And then from here, if you would like to come to downward facing dog and flow through one more little vinyasa, find yourself there. And then once you've made it there, drop those knees, find a nice relaxing child's pose. You can let the belly go here, but stay with the breath. Come back to your intention. Stay in here as long as you would like. Otherwise, I'm gonna take my hands under my shoulders and I'm gonna come up. We're gonna do a seated forward fold a seated forward fold. So if you know you can't touch your feet, you can always um, bring in the strap here. What I do want you to try to get into the habit of, um, I think you can see it that way. If you want your feet to be flat, 
like you're standing on the wall in front of you. So you want to try not to let them do this curling in thing. So try to be nice and firm and flat with your feet. Support under the knees as needed. I'm sitting nice and tall. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, lean forward, long spine first, and then fold in. You can always bring in a strap here. Breathe into that back body like a doctor or a medical professional has got a stethoscope back there and they're asking you to breathe deep so they can listen to the lungs. That's breathing into the back body. And when you're ready, good. we'll come back up. We're going to make our way onto our backs here. Now, I'm going to do this through a roll down. If that's not for you, then you can come to your back in the way that's best for you. Good. And then from here, I'm going to tilt the pelvis back, scoop in that belly button, and I'm going to roll down with as much control as I can find. Knowing if you've got inflexibilities or weaknesses, you're going to go down a little bit faster in this part. So once you come down here, you can get a nice windshield wiper again. And then taking the soles of the feet together, let's come to a supine cobbler's pose. Now, if this is not possible for you, just come into an adult happy baby, just kind of let the knees bend and hold at the shins. Good, now we're gonna take this into a stretch. So you can leave the right foot and leg right where it is. The left hand is gonna to come to the yogi toe, a foot or the shin, wherever it is that you can grab, and then let that leg go out to the side. Both hips are grounded here. Good, and we'll come back in. Good. Taking that to the other side, find the grip that you need. Taking it out. and coming back in. Good, we're gonna do one bridge. This is a freestyle bridge. You can use your strap for any binding help that you need. You can just lift straight up if you want to. You can come to a full back bend if you would like. You choose where you need. I'm gonna do back bend today. So whenever you're ready, inhale, exhale, find your, find your hips, knees and toes are tracking in that alignment. We don't take the legs out. We don't turn the feet out. Knees don't fall in. And then when you're ready in the way that's best for you based on what you chose, carefully come out. Careful with that head if you went into a full back bend. And we'll take the knees back into the chest and rock, rock, side to side. We're going to go into Shavasana from here. So you can let everything kind of come long and flop open. You can put a bend in the knee. You can be on your side, you can be on your belly, you can bring any props in here that would feel good to you. And whenever you're ready, hit. Okay, rolling the shoulders back, allowing yourself to sink in. Reconnecting with that intention. and taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness, find right movement of fingers and toes. Maybe taking head and neck from side to side. Choosing stillness. We're taking knees into the chest. Choosing to keep the upper body grounded or maybe tucking the chin, lifting up, full body hug. 
in choosing stillness or moving any props out of the way that you may have used during your Shavasana time, taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you, and reach and lengthen from the edge of the fingertips to the edge of the toes, full body stretch. Point and flex the feet, bend and stretch the hands, rolling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other, and whenever you're ready, bending in both knees, and you choose, rolling over to right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment, taking all the time that you need. And when you're ready, pressing yourself to a comfortable seat. So we normally start our yoga practice. Good. Noticing how you feel. Inhale, reach, 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 coming up. Touching palms together, exhale, hands and heart center. Reconnecting with that intention one more time. We'll take thumbs to the forehead for good and true thoughts, to the lips for good and kind words, and to the heart for open and loving heart, knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month ahead. Namaste.